Oh my goodness me, Facebook, hello. They have launched a brand new feature called Facebook Rooms. This is a really interesting and exciting feature because this is their rival to Zoom, to Microsoft Teams, to Google Meet, and you can run your own video conferencing meeting or connect with friends, connect with business colleagues, right from Facebook and Facebook Messenger. So keep watching this video because I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about creating your very own Facebook room. Vina v. Hello, my beautiful happiness hustlers. My name is Vina V and I make video easy so you can focus on getting yourself visible. Today, we are going to be talking about how you can create your very own Facebook room from your personal profile, plus in the description box below and in the pinned first comment, I've got an absolutely free download for you that's going to take you through the step-by-step -step process, how to go live on Facebook. And this checklist is also going to help you to go live live on your Facebook rooms as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, are you ready to party? Right, you need to log into Facebook, come onto your home page, and then it pops up straight away. Can you see it says create room? If you're not seeing create room, it may pop up here where you click on these free dots. So click on the free, oh, click on the free dots, and it's there as well. So I'm going to click on create room then. So let's go through this. So room activity, Venus room, if we click on that, that will change our title of it. So we can put happy hour. I'm just going to keep this Venus room. You can put something new. So if I wanted to call it, um, I don't know, let's just call it YouTube meeting as an example. Okay. YouTube meeting. Let's get a picture of a, a computer and that's click save. Okay, so I've changed my name of my room now to YouTube meeting. I want to invite, so okay, so to use Facebook rooms, the person that you want to do or the people that you want in your room that you want to do this video conferencing call with, they need to have a Facebook profile. So who is invited? Let me click on that. Okay, so warning, <laughs> be careful on this step. If I leave it as friends, that means all of my friends, which is a thousand, two thousand, I don't know how many people I've got on my Facebook, they will get an invitation to this room. So I don't wanna do that. I want to invite specific friends. So I'm gonna click on that and then click on invite friends. And then I'm going to search for Sam Day, my friend. So Sam. And then I'm going to click on invite. That's all you need to do. Now, in terms of when you want this room to go live, we can literally start it right now. Or if you click on it, oh, I love this feature. You can set a date for tomorrow. You can do it in a week's time. And you can also change the time of it as well. Okay, so I'm just going to put go back and I'm start time. I'm going to put now. So next. Okay, so now this room is happening right now. I'm going to click on join room. Oh, this is important to note as well. So can you see this kind of looks like you're about to post something on your Facebook profile or page, but read what it says here. Only the people you choose to discover and join your room will see this post. So if I was to post this, Sam is the only person that's going to see it because he's the only person that I have invited to my room. So I'm just going to skip that. And all I'm going to do is click on join room. Uh, for, for some, okay, so sometimes you know there's little glitches. For some reason, that's not working, but I'm going to click here. It will always come up on your feed in your profile, uh, on your profile page, okay? So I'm going to click join here instead. There we go. Now it's opening up. So I'm going to continue as me. Remember, I'm logged into Facebook. That's why that's coming up like that. So my friend Sam is not here yet. I'm going to join as me. Hopefully he would have got the invitation. There we are again. Okay, cool. So if I want to see Sam when he comes in, I would click on see 
call participants, but obviously he is not here yet. <laughs> I can also lock the room. Okay, let me just show you that again, because I went too fast there. Right, so if we click on this, where the people are, let's click on that. I can lock the room. I'm not going to do that yet because Sam isn't here. When Sam's here, if I don't want anyone to join, remember for security reasons, you know, sometimes some people might not be that nice and they might, you know, give this link to people. So if, if you want to ensure that no one else joins this call, all you have to do is click on lock room. You never know, maybe Facebook didn't invite Sam to this room. So I am gonna copy this. And now I'm gonna go on my Facebook Messenger and send Sam the link just in case um, he didn't get it. But he should have, because it does say here, look. Ah, so Facebook sent it automatically to him. I'm just gonna send it to him again, just in case. Remember your mic's here, so I can mute my mic. I can turn off my video like that so no one can see me and they can just hear me. Turn that back on. Um, I can also share my screen. I am loving all these features. I can share my entire screen. I can just do one window or I can do a specific Chrome tab, okay? And then we're gonna click on share there. But I'm gonna cancel that for now. Okay, before Sam gets here, I just wanna double check my settings. So we're gonna go over here where it says settings on the top right click on that. Uh, so yep, we are using my HD webcam, using the internal microphone. I can change that to my webcam because my webcam's got a mic in, but for now, because I'm recording the screen, I'm going to leave it as my internal microphone. And most of you, if you don't have an external microphone, you just want to make sure it's hit on there. If you do use an external microphone, make sure you're changing your microphone to one of these uh, as well. So I'm just going to click save. Okay, let's wait for Sam to come in. Yay! Yes. Hey. Sam is here. Awesome. We yeah. did it. We got there. We did it. Oh, your audio sounds much more crisper on Facebook Messenger. So before I introduce Sam to you, I did a tutorial last week, which was about Google Meet. And when I played it back, it doesn't didn't uh, sound as um, crisp. Have you changed your mic or is it nothing? No, exactly the same. No, it's the same mic, yeah. That's very interesting. So this I is... Actually, you, you're actually coming up a lot clearer as well. So oh, wow. that's one thing. Even Ooh. clearer, I would say, than, than Zoom or anything else. I think, yeah, it's, quite, oh, it's coming I look up quite like clear. proper HD quality? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam doesn't find that funny. <laughs> No, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> he just had no response. Then he was like, "Nah." Really <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I want to see who's in the room now, I can just click on "See Call Participants," and obviously we know Sam's here. If I didn't want Sam to be here anymore, I would click on "Remove." And remember what I told you before: I can also now lock the room. Are you sure you want to lock the room so nobody else um, can get in here? Okay, as well. Um, yeah. So, what do you think about this, Sam? This one was really good. Um, the only issue, I well, I had two issues. They weren't major issues, but um, I couldn't remember my messenger password. Oh. So it was asking me to, I've recorded this side of as well, so hopefully oh, um, I get that, that bit it's included. But I couldn't remember my messenger password to log into the messenger right. thing. And that then when I f finally figured it out, um, my browser wasn't supported. Because I normally use Safari, and obviously Chrome is more more popular, so I had to kind of copy the link, put it into uh, into Chrome, and it was fine. It was it, it was a little bit of like a technical hitch, right. but nothing too major. So that's a really good point Sam's raised then. So if you're having any technical difficulties, if you're trying to use Facebook Rooms, try Google Chrome, and then also remember your. Facebook password, which so ma so many of us we don't know, because I just lock. It's Facebook's all always logged in, so it's good to know if you're if you need to join a meeting on Facebook, just make sure you know your password before you join, so you don't look like you're late. That's a great tip. <laughs> and then if I quickly before Sam goes, if I quickly um, click over here, can you see these three dots? If I click on them, I can look at Sam's profile, I can message message him privately, and I can also remove him from this as well. 
Yay, thank you, Sam. Sam's in all my tutorials, so if you want to watch our, our Zoom tutorial or our Google Meet tutorial, I will leave the links below, and then you can see Sam's lovely face again. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Everyone say bye to bye. Sam. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, and he's gone. Um, I don't know if I showed you this bit before, but if I don't want to show my screen bit here, I mean, if I want to kind of move myself away, my screen, I can just click on that and I'm gone. Okay, people can still see me though, remember? If you don't want other people to see you, you just click on the turn off video. And there we go. That is Facebook Rooms. Let's click on the red button to leave the room. Now you know how to do Facebook rooms, go and watch that video next, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to create a Google Meet meeting, very similar to Facebook rooms and Zoom, so make sure you go and check that out. Plus, download your free checklist. That is gonna make your videos on Facebook look super, super amazing. Go and download it, the link is down below there somewhere. I love you so much, you are amazing. And remember, if you're not visible, you don't exist. You're talented, you're unique. So make sure you go and take action today, not tomorrow. And I'll see you in the next video, bye.